The year was 1992. I was looking for a little side hustle. And there it was, staring at me from the back page of the San Antonio Thrifty Nickel. The ultimate money-making scheme ever! All right, welcome back everybody. El Presidente here with another video. This one is about the cash stuffing side hustle, I guess you could call it, or just hustle. <laughs> and it was brought to mind because I'm seeing a lot of uh, envelope stuffing side hustles on, on YouTube and, and, uh, and other places. And so it reminded me of this one. Now, this is one you do not want to do. Okay. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, don't do this. Don't do it. <laughs> Some of you will be tempted to do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. But I want to tell you about it because this was in the early years of the Presidente's hustling, trying to find that one thing that would change his life. Oh, it changed my life, all right. <laughs> it made me a little smarter. So let's get into this real quick. So you take this little business model that was on the, the page that one was sent. So in the paper, you sent your, your address, I think it was, or you called and left your, your address, and then they sent you the information. And the information it was just a little piece of paper with some instructions. And I'm going to show you on the computer, kind of try to duplicate a little bit on the slideshow of what it was that you had to do and you had to duplicate to be able to make some money. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so here you go in a very simplified way. Cashed up envelopes. So you have to send whatever amount was against, you know, or next to this uh, this name, right? So Joe Blow, you send five dollars. Mary Smith, you send four. Jackassy one, send three. Jackassy two, send two. Irma La Seducer, only one dollar. Total you would be sending is fifteen dollars. Potential earnings by sending a hundred envelopes out was fifteen hundred dollars. Whoo wee! A lot of money right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, but I was poor, so I didn't go with option one. Anyway, so and I'm gonna show you the procedure here in a second. Alright, so option two only cost you five dollars because you only send one dollar to each of these i could deal with that so i said yeah i'll do this one it's a potential earning with a hundred envelope sent five hundred dollars five hundred dollars in 1992 for me was a lot of money i was like yeah i can i can i can i can go downtown with this so that's what i did so this is what you had to do so you send money to those five people then you go and you put your name in here and you take you scratch off Joe Blow and, and insert your name. Now you move everybody up, you insert your name down over here into number five. And then you go and find a hundred people to mail these envelopes to. Back in the day, that meant going through the phone book. Because the phone book had the name and address on there. Perfect. So that's what I did. And of course, they, they would tell you start out with 100. But you could repeat often for a lot more money. I moved them all up. Mary Smith got her dollar. Or would get her dollar anyway. Because I'm sending these out now, right? And then, of course, the president is at the bottom over here getting this bird dollar and then as other people do it they put their their name over here and just move everybody up and that's why you get five chances to get dollars it's beautiful it's a beautiful thing right now yeah i know my math isn't correct i, I don't care anyway so well, this is the total cost so you send five dollars right to the previous in the previous slide right you send them five dollars so it cost you the, the initial five. Box of envelopes in 92 was about two bucks. 
cost of 100 stamps in 92 was 29, 29 cents a piece. So 100, 29 bucks. Cost of printing sheets uh, were free. <clears throat> Total cost was $35.99. Not too bad, because you, you're going to get some potential earnings. 100 envelopes sent, get $500. Profit would be $464. Now, what I'm not putting there, of course, and I think they put it in the in the uh, little flyer or whatever that was sent to me, was that that's just round one. Now, when all these other people are are doing that and they're they're pushing you up and they do another hundred and they do and then they you move to three and they do another hundred you, you see what i mean that type of thing all right before i get into the results and kind of explain what happened to me after all all of this i just want to thank you all for watching this video please like subscribe share comment if if, if uh you ever were uh, a target for for any of this type of money-making scheme, uh, put your comment down there. Uh, I did this with with a buddy, and uh, I think he, he helped me stuff some of the he, some of the envelopes. He didn't he didn't put any of his money, you know, in it. He just wanted to see if it worked, and and was laughing at me the whole time. I I still don't know why. And then there was other other guys that you know you, you don't want to share too much at at the time because you're you're scheming right you, you know what I mean so but yeah this I I wish I would have shared it with somebody and somebody would have told me uh don't do this is a bad idea <laughs> anyway let's get into the results so what were my results from all this <laughs> again please please don't do this. Okay, so going back to this, the results after sending 100 envelopes. So that's, that's the test trial. So the first week after I had, I had sent it out, I got, I got back three envelopes, $3. I'm like, man, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Pretty soon we'll be downtown and on the river walk going to Dixon Hooters, buddy. Second week, I got two dollars now that's five bucks i already got back the five bucks that i initially sent to those first five jagasses right but i also got an angry letter from from some guy saying that you know he, he didn't want to do anything with this he didn't want anything to do with this to, to stop contacting him all of this other stuff and you know i was like fine i went over to the phone book i scratched his name out you don't want to get rich Fine by me. Fine by me. I'll get rich. You don't have to get rich. Huh. What a guy. Anyway, third week, I got zero. <clears throat> then the fourth week, I got another dollar. So that's six bucks, right? So I, I'm thinking, I'm not even thinking about what I put in for the envelopes all that. For me, that's profit. That's profit already. I made a dollar profit. But then I also got a letter from the uh, U.S. Postal Service. Now, before I, I tell you the rest of that, it seems that uh, this type of uh, business is illegal through the U.S. Postal Service. Well, Who would have thunk that? Yep. So the, the Postal Service sent me a uh, cease and desist letter saying that there had been some complaints. <laughs> And I guess somebody turned in my address and name. Can you believe that? Just trying to make a little bit of money and benefit you too. And you got to turn your name in because something about some Ponzi scheme or something like that. Unbelievable. People just don't want to better themselves, I tell you. You give them, you give them the, the chance and just don't want to do it. Anyway, the letter said that... Uh, while it's legal to send money, cash, through the U.S. Postal System, it is a uh, felony to use the U.S. Postal Service, a federal service, uh, for this type of business because there is no product, basically. You're just sending money. Now, 
later on I found out about a word as gift and ah, there's some loopholes and all that but hey you know it was in 92 the president wasn't the president yet it was more like a teniente like a little lieutenant not even so I was like yeah, okay uh, I don't think I'll, I'll pursue this route just yet so I just I dropped it I dropped it after a hundred envelopes and being mildly successful. So what else happened? Okay, so yeah, so that's what happened with the U.S. Postal Service. Fifth week, I didn't get any money. About two months later, I got a dollar. And that was the last dollar I ever received out of this deal here. So in summary, the total cost was $35.99 total received was seven dollars plus uh angry letter and an official letter from the u.s postal service on a high note there were at least seven other jagasses like me that thought they could make a quick buck with this scheme well didn't quite work out that way did it <laughs> nope 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 all right so fail or no fail obviously obviously that's a big ass fail. Oh well, yeah, that failed too. Hang on a second. Rhythm, 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 rhythm. Yeah, so obviously it was a fail. And actually for not being able to play it earlier when I was doing the video. guys thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video uh, i could probably go on about it but uh, i mean you, you get the uh, general idea just be careful what you what you decide to join when you're out there especially this uh when it comes to cash and the post office system know the laws please don't get yourself in trouble all right take care until the next one